Let's build a stomper. Come on, lads. everybody and welcome back to let's build a stomper now we are seriously nearing the end of this project guys and i thank you all for tuning in and watching and um commenting along uh, but anyway what we're we doing in this episode really it's just touch-ups just fine little bits of detail uh, i think i've probably got maybe one more episode after this and then it'll be uh, it'll be done now uh, just so you guys uh, know i'm gonna clarify i am gonna paint this stomper um however um, I'm not going to do it in this format with loads of episodes because it's just going to get sinfully boring as fuck. Um, just me painting it bit by bit for you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a mega, super, like eight times speeded up uh, video of me painting this stomper mega, mega fast. Um, so you guys will be able to see it pretty much all in one episode. I dread to think what the fucking size of that file is going to be with that much footage, that condensed down and that sped up. It's going to be fucking insane. I don't even know if my YouTube limit will allow it. So it might end up being a two-parter. But anyway... What can you see me doing now? Well, um, it's a bit small. I didn't zoom the camera angle in on this for, for some strange fucking unapparent reason. Um, but I'm actually doing some detailing on the buzzsaw because I thought it, it, it looks great at the moment, but it needs some more spiky death bits. So I'm cutting up some little tiny triangles of, uh, of plastic card in order to... Uh, my head's been in that shot for a long fucking time as well, just the top of my head. My fucking hedgehog spiky hairness. But anyway, we're gonna we're putting um, some little triangles on just to give it a bit more spiky, so that you know if anything does get fucking smashed to the side with it, I've just knocked a load of shit off from underneath my desk. Fucking get in there, you fucking cunt! There we go. So yeah, just in, in case the stomper backhands anything, it's gonna add some extra spikiness to it. Uh, I also I did decide to take off the tank traps. Uh, it looks infinitely better now. I don't know what the fuck came over me in regards to um, those tank traps. I'm going to open a window because it's hot as shit. My window's already open and it's hot as shit. How fucking good is that? Well, guys, looks like it. I'm going to sweat to death. Um, yeah, so, uh, okay, whatever. But yeah, it's a short episode today, uh, mainly because um, I've got um, loads of shit and loads of preparation to do for Grumpy Old War Gamers. So if any of you guys listening are going to Grumpy Old War Gamers on Saturday and Sunday, um, I will be wearing a End of the Wolf Time shirt, uh, t-shirt, which I've had made. Um, you can't miss it, it's my uh, logo. Um, and uh, yeah, come over and say hi, come over and give me a shout. I'll be wandering around most of the day, but anyway, blah, 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 back to the video. Um, so now what we do, we're, we're adding some um, worky bit detail to the um, uh, combat arm of the stomper. Because um, as it was, it didn't look like it could actually move. So what I'm doing, uh, I'm using um, a square of plastic card and a large green stuff rivet on this. Um, because you guys can't see it, because I didn't zoom the fucking camera in. Um, so I'm using um, yeah square of plastic card and a large green stuff rivet um, to make the effect of a bolt, like a really big bolt that's gone through there. Um, what am I doing now? Uh, oh yeah, now I'm actually cutting... Uh, oh, no, no, what am I doing? Fuck, it was like a week ago when I recorded this and I can't remember what I've fucking done. Where's my stomper? It's on my window ledge and I can't fucking see it. Um... Yeah, so adding uh, rivets and stuff just to basically make it look like it's actually held together. Um, and then in a second, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be um, adding some cabling to it. Um, but right at this minute, what am I doing now? Oh, yeah, I'm chewing up some dented armour. Um, just because... <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm just chewing some plastic card. My dentist's going to love me. Great Jojo man, what have you been chewing? Um, plastic card? Why? Well, you see, I've got this YouTube show where I do let's builds and I do hobby advice and it's a really good way of... Ah, fuck it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, um, working bits. I was going to armour up um, the uh, the stomper, like the, this arm bit, and I put one on there and then I thought, do you know what, fuck that, I can't be arsed because it was taking a god-fucking-unholy amount of time for it to actually stick because the PVC pipe is obviously part of a drainage system, so it's designed for stuff not to stick to it. Um, so I kind of abandoned that idea and left, kind of left, just left one armour plate just hanging there um, because it looks alright as it is, you know, with a cylinder. I might add a seam to it and um, add some rivets and stuff, make it look like it's actually made of metal. Um, but yeah, so this is my little, um, little pot, my little uh, spray paint lid, um, which is actually uh, being in use at the moment. But anyway, I'm rambling again. Keep rambling. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm kind of using like loads of li little leftover bits of plastic card, chewing them up, making dented armor. Um, I'm, this is kind of like a boring episode for you guys to watch, so you have to accept my sincerest apologies uh, in this. And uh, there's another clip coming up, I can see it on the timeline, which I don't think is actually sped up. Uh, time will tell. Oh no, it is. It is sped up. So there's my dented armor. 
Um, right, okay, so jump cuts. Well, hey, now I'm um, literally, you've got all this fucking dented armor that I've chewed up, and after a while, it does start to hurt your teeth. So now I'm going to be doing the actual whole um, armor body detailing of the Stomper, and I was really skeptical at first because it, it was just not looking too good. And as with any kind of big build, as, in, as regards to any build in general, um, the golden rule is just keep persevering. Uh, if you think it looks shit, don't just give up. Just keep working at it and working at it. And it will, it will, I promise you guys, it will start to look awesome, as this did. Because there was a lot of um, bare plastic card from what I covered the, uh, the microphone box with. Uh, if you're only just tuning in, I suggest you go back and watch the first episode of Let's Build a Stomp because I actually use a microphone box that my microphone that I'm now recording this is just from. <coughs> I need a drink. Alcoholic drink or a brew? A, a brew. A brew. Uh, I could make an Irish coffee, I suppose. But I don't like coffee anyway. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Um, so yeah, um, just sticking these armor plates down. Now what I decided to do, I decided rather than just like stick it all, make it look all pristine stuck down, I actually curled these up a little bit. And um, to make them look like the armor was kind of like hastily put on there. And you know, so that it added a bit more of a three-dimensional feel to the armor plating. Um, and... It would just give it a lot more depth and make it look less than it just stuck on. Um, what I'm probably going to be doing on the next episode, um, which is going to be terribly, terribly boring for you guys, so I do apologise, is adding a metric shit ton of rivets to it. I've decided... <coughs> to cough my lung up, uh, I decided uh, I'm not going to rivet the whole thing because I think too many rivets would just spoil it and it would just make it look polka dotty. So I'm going to do patches of areas where it's riveted and then the other patches of armor plates, uh, I'm going to imagine that they've just been welded there, just welded in place um, by uh, the orc uh, crew and the orc mech. Um, now, I'm actually going to add um, a couple of bits of other detailing to it. I might add some more grots running about on it. Uh, I might add a mech boy, but then it's like, oh, I've got to fucking paint orc skin then yeah, I don't like it so I might um, I might get um, chains uh, to paint me up uh, some grots and some mechs and I'll just stick it down uh, post production um, but yeah so uh, grumpy old wargamers guys it's going to be fucking awesome um, I'm kind of uh, th there's been a bit of a delay on ep videos uh, so far this week um, I I've got a um uh, a hobby tip coming uh, this week, and I've also got a D and D session coming. Um, but uh, the next week, so next weekend, and uh, sorry, because the uh, fuck, I keep rambling and mumbling and. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, so basically, I've got three. I've got two more videos apart from this one coming out this week, uh, and then on the weekend, it's obviously Grumpy Old War Gamers. The following week, uh, most of the videos will be Grumpy Old War Gamer related, um, as I'm taking um, several recording devices, I'm taking netbook, uh, microphone, and I'm going to get a bunch of shit recorded uh, on the Saturday, um, because on the Sunday, hazard a guess, I'll be far too hungover to uh, want to video anything. Um, uh, also, guys, um, would you guys like a like kind of like a behind the scenes kind of uh, kind of video, like a behind the scenes documentary style? Because I was toying with the idea in my head of doing like you know the whole road trip up there and 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 picking everybody up and and that kind of stuff. So, please, guys, um, that is really important to me because um, I would like to do it. But if you guys don't want to see it, then um, fair play, I, I won't. Because end of the day, um, it's uh, everybody's channel. Well, not really everybody's channel. It's my channel, but you guys are a huge part of um, of, of of me deciding what content I put up there. Um, so yeah, I want to do a behind the scenes kind of documentary um, and document like the whole trip. Maybe I'll do a nice little voiceover like this. I don't know. Um, maybe. Maybe. I'll, I've got to see. I've got to sort out soundtracks and stuff. So I've got a fucking busy, busy week next week of editing. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm in work. Um, so what I'll probably try and do... I'll probably try and get all the editing done before Friday, and I will try before Wednesday. So I'll have Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to finish editing. Wednesday night, I'll probably schedule a load of episodes to go up as well. Um, so I am going to apologise in advance um, for me um, uh, uh, just spamming your uh, sub boxes, the Grumpy Old War Gamers related stuff. Okay, now, so uh, what we're doing now? Um, what we're doing? We're going to use some more uh, green stuff uh, rivets. Fuck! My face came into the shot then. God damn it! <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm using some more green sub rivets. Um, uh, I'm gonna basically make this um, landing pad look a little bit better. Um, now, a lot of people ask me, uh, well, send me PMs and stuff, saying why do I use green sub as rivets? Why not just buy um, some plastic card, you know, some plastic um, rod? 
or you know some roundish sprue or something and hack that up and the answer to that is I can actually control the width and the size of the rivets when I use it out of plastic I use it out of green stuff and it gives me a huge advantage because um, the green stuff is slightly soft meaning that um, it won't fly everywhere so I don't, I've got to I basically I've got to be less careful when um, uh, cutting the green stuff uh, off the or well, making the rivet out of the green stuff rod that I've made um, but yeah guys, so we're drawing to the end of the episode, um, fuck, I've got to go back and, uh, cover up, um, a bit of my face there, and I've forgotten where it was, god damn it! Um, but yeah guys, sorry it's been a short episode, sorry I've kind of rambled as well, um, really, there's nothing really that interesting going on in this episode, apart from just some little touch-ups here and there, um, yeah, I, I also, I'm very aware that my desk is a fucking state, it is literally just a pile of shit there, but have no fear, it will be getting tidied soon enough. Um, yeah, so what we're doing now, we're just sticking down the landing pad. Um, I was toying with the idea of making it bigger or having like a multi-tiered landing pad, but I didn't want to overpower the stomper, you know, make it look like it was top heavy. Um, two deaf copters fit perfectly fine on this landing pad. Um, so I'm just going to say that the other one just, just chops about and flaps about and around the stomper and with so forth, whatnot, and so on and so such. Um, <clears throat> fuck, I can't get this frog out of my throat. What have you been doing with frogs Frogs in your throat, Jojo man, I hear you ask. Well, that's a tale for another day. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, oh, also, uh, I decided I was going to... Because like, underneath the uh, landing pad, it looked really, really bare. So I decided to hack a hole in it. And uh, even though you can't see from the top, you can see it quite clearly from uh, the side. And put a um, Land Raider interior door in there to make it like, like an access hatch there for Gretchen to do maintenance. But anyway, guys, that's the episode. So um, thank you all for watching. And see you guys again soon. See you now. And goodbye.